Welcome back from trying and testing out our models. We are gonna spend a little bit of time now thinking back and reflecting on what we noticed. Which features do you think were the most effective at withstanding both wind and rain? How do you know that those particular features were effective? You can think back to things like the roof, or as I explained, what parts were taped on. Uh, maybe think about the posts and if there were certain angles that helped. Think about which made it really the strongest. Even with designs that did what they needed to do, there was still a lot of variation or a lot of change in how they performed. For example, some structures may lean, but not fall over, and some pennies may move around, but not fall off in the rain. Which structure was not effective at withstanding wind and rain? And why do you think this one didn't work well? Now is a great time to pause your video, write down your answer, or say your answer out loud. Here is your key concept for this part of our lesson. People can design solutions to prevent damage caused by natural hazards. We've demonstrated that there are ways to design a structure so that there's less damage from strong winds and rain of a hurricane. In addition to coming up with our own designs, we've read about solutions to the problems caused by weather-related natural hazards in dangerous weather ahead. This all shows that people can design solutions to prevent damage caused by natural hazards. Because we know some of these ideas will work, I will send some of them to the Wildlife Protection Organization. The WPO can then use the ideas we learned from designing structures that can withstand hurricane damage when they rebuild their office building so that it is safer when another hurricane happens. Just a reminder, if people figure out, like we did, a pattern of where natural hazards occur, then they can predict what natural hazards are likely to happen nearby. Then they can design effective solutions to prevent damage caused by those hazards. This way, people can prepare for and stay safe from natural hazards. Here is your lesson challenge. The first part is, Talk to an adult. Try to make your own structure if you want to. Just make sure you're very safe with all the materials and do not try this by yourself. If you're unable to do that right now, then no problem. Here is a reflection question you can answer before our next lesson. Why is it useful to be able to predict what the weather will be like in the future? In other words, how does it help people to know what the weather is going to be like the next day or maybe the next month? All right, great job in lesson three. I will see you all for our final lesson in lesson four.